Welcome to Peppers Grow Worms. Okay, here's a short update on my attempt to grow one of my chili peppers in an aquaponic setup featuring some freshwater isopods. I have um, made this setup uh, almost two months ago. The last update was exactly one month ago and now it's time to replace the leaves because the isopods have been munching them and um, let's have a look how this plant has developed and the whole setup. Well the one flower but that was uh, still nicely to be seen last time. Uh, this one didn't take it just dried out. It dried up. Will be recycled. Yeah, I can also remove some of the old leaves. They will be dried and also turned into isopod food. I have observed that there are also already baby isopods, just like in my Madaka aquarium. I've already grown a bit. Yeah, and while we're at the aquarium, I have also installed another little thingy to direct more of the air into the aquaponic setup from the secondary filter. I am stealing some air. So let's open this up. You can see it's bubbling nicely now but since I have redirected more air to it. I think the roots have noticeably grown since last time. Maybe I will have a look for isopods at night. Yeah, the leaves have already been decomposed quite a bit. There's a nice layer of detritus at the bottom. So now let's add some more leaves. First time that I'm adding more food. And Just to be fancy, also a sea almond leaf. Chuck it in there. Of course, also some chili leaves, because that's the idea turning dead chili leaves into living chili leaves by the plant, by the leaf eating power of the isopods. And there's a little treat. A little bit of fish food. Uh, maybe a little bit much, but we have been doing a good job, I think. Now those leaves can soak, that's uh, strawberry leaves, some um, water lily leaves from the Medaka pond, some chili leaves, the sea almond leaf. Yeah. 
also the cocoa the copper pots are still active I'm not sure if they may be predatory and eating the little isopod babies but no, apparently not all of them yeah. I will check on that later in the evening but considering the plant there are fresh leaves growing and also new flower buds and I think the plant has concentrated on roots recently and now maybe it will get more into the business of producing flowers and hopefully some nice fruits because it's also still part of my chili pepper breeding program. Okay.